Monday night and here's another YouTube video on um, Amazon Q&A. Tonight we are going to be talking about how to get ungated on Amazon. So, um, you know, it's been a beautiful week. Uh, sales have been really, really good. I want to kind of uh, talk about that. And uh, sales have been tremendously great. And uh, they're just uh, starting to pick up more and more now. And uh, as we're getting into uh, the fourth quarter, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, sales, Christmas sales and uh, holiday sales and so forth. So uh, with that being said, welcome aboard, everybody. Welcome uh, to the live broadcast. And... Um, Tonight, we are going to be talking about uh, how to get ungated on Amazon. Uh, one of my members actually uh, was asking that question, and I felt that it was a pretty good topic to talk about tonight because um, some of you think that it's uh, an easy process to get ungated uh, on Amazon itself, and there are a few people out there that are um, promoting themselves and trying to get someone ungated, uh, especially on Instagram. Um, and the truth of the matter is they cannot get you ungated at all. Um, that is a process that has to go through Amazon itself. And uh, there are people out there that uh, basically uh, tell you that they can get you engaged and uh, maybe they could for a little bit um, until Amazon actually finds out uh, that you were ungated or you got engaged and um, then they correct the problem and uh, they even possibly might even suspend uh, your account. Uh, and so... You don't want to jeopardize your Amazon seller's account by trying to do something um, behind Amazon's back because they're going to find out. One way or another, they're going to find out um, what you did and uh, it's not going to be good for you. So with that being said, I'm going to tell you a few things that Amazon actually looks for when, they, uh, when you want to get ungated. Uh, so, when we talk about ungated, we're talking about categories that you cannot get into, such as beauty. Um, those are closed uh, for new sellers. So, if you're a brand new seller and you want to try to get ungated because you want to sell something in beauty uh, and uh, that is close to you because you are a brand new seller, then you have to basically apply for that category so you can get ungated. And there are a few things that Amazon really looks at. Um, they look at, a little fly flying around. So, uh, they look at um, a few things. They look at um, your sales. They wanna make sure that uh, your sales are doing good. If you're a brand new seller and it's something that um, is something that you uh, want to do, you want to get into a certain category, try selling into a category first that uh, is open to you and try to um, sell products in the meantime to get your account built up. When I say get your account built up, there are a few things that Amazon looks at when you put in your application for a certain category and you want to get engaged in that category. Well, there are things like sales, you know, you got to have sales in order to get into another category. So they like for you to turn around and sell in categories that you're already open in and you can sell in. So you might want to try to sell some products first to kind of get your account in really good standings. And then you uh, have a few things that you need to do uh, when you're getting ungated. Basically, 
um, you're saying, I want to get into a certain category, I want to sell in that category, and um, I want to be able to uh, get in that category because there's a lot of people selling, you know, products in that category. So the best thing to do is find out if that product is already um, in Amazon's catalog. Find out if you can get that particular product and sell it in a open market or open uh, category to where you are going to be able to make some sales first and then turn around and try to do a private label product yourself to go out there and try to uh, sell products um, and you sell your own products, basically your own private label products. But before you do that, uh, there are certain things that Amazon's going to ask for. They're going to find out and they're going to want to know where you are getting this product. So you're going to have to so show some type of receipts or something uh, to show them that you're getting a product from a reliable source and um, always have that on hand. And then what's really, really important is uh, the packaging. Um, in your product itself. So if you are uh, going to sell a product or you want to sell a product in a closed category, your best option is to make sure that that product has your name on it um, or has something that identifies that product with you and make sure that your packaging really, really stands out. That can take you a long way when it comes to getting ungated into a category that is closed for you. Also, what you want to do is you want to be able to uh, make sure that you are selling that product in different categories first before you go into a closed categories. You want to be able to prove to Amazon that you're a good seller, you're in good standings, you're getting great reviews, and then go ahead and try to go into a different category. Now, when I first started out many, many years ago, um, I didn't have that issue or I didn't have that problem. But nowadays, there's a lot of new people coming in and the first place they wanna rush to are the closed categories, which is kinda of wrong. They shouldn't be doing that. They should be selling products that they're going to uh, you know, hopefully get some sales and get those underneath their belt first before they go out and try to sell a product in a closed category itself. It's all fine and dandy. I mean, if you want to sell a product in beauty uh, because you think it's going to make a lot of sales or what have you, oh, that's all fine. But you, there's some things that criteria and prerequisites that you have to have in order to sell um, a product. And one of them is going to be the, the packaging itself. Make sure that the packaging uh, really stands out. And, you know, last but not least, you want to make sure that um, when you uh, try to apply for um, a certain category that you have very good pictures. Make sure that, that those pictures uh, really, really stand out and uh, make sure you have great bullet points, a great description, and a, and, and a great title because that's going to take you a long way. Um, so if they're looking at that, they're looking at you as being professional, you selling a particular product, and you going out there and uh, try to get into a category that is very competitive for... Um, experienced sellers. Now, usually when it's a, a closed category, that's what they want. They want experienced sellers that are going to be able to get in there and sell their products and sell hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those products. And uh, that's why they close those categories to new people because they don't want somebody coming in there selling one item, two items, and then, you know, get approved for it and then get out. You know, it's a waste of other people's time. And it helps people like myself, who is experienced, 
and have been selling on Amazon for a long time that I don't have these uh, new competitors, uh, you know, competing or trying to sell the same exact product as, as I am. And uh, they're brand new. They have no experience behind them. They have no sales behind them. And so that's a huge, huge turnoff for experienced sellers out there that are selling on Amazon. And Amazon doesn't want that because they don't want, you know, a new person trying to come in and uh, be competition of somebody who's been making Amazon a lot of money in the past. So this is why they really critique uh, you when you come in and, you know, whether... Uh, this could, could be a choice whether you get approved or not approved for that particular category. Even though you don't get approved for that particular category, it's always good to try to sell it in a different category that's open. Get some sales behind it first. Try to get the experience of, of sales themselves. And um, you got to ask yourself this question. Look, if you... Um, are brand new and you don't know a whole lot about merchant fulfilled products or FBA products, I would not be thinking about getting into closed categories. I would be thinking about getting sales first before you go out there and try to attempt to uh, try to get approved on a closed category. It doesn't hurt if you try, but you know, expect to uh, be denied or not approved because uh, you lack that experience as an experienced seller, you know, does and and they have that experience to where they're comfortable and in, in, in selling hundreds and hundreds of products every single day. You know, you think of it as this, you have a brand new seller that's coming in and then you have somebody like myself. Well, I'm, I'm turning around selling 100 to 200 units a day and then and then you come in and Amazon puts you right next to me. Yeah, you may get some of my sales, but um, I'm going to be pretty pissed off and pretty upset and call Amazon saying, why are these guys selling when they have no reviews? And, you know, they get those type of complaints from other sellers. And this is why they're really, really careful when it comes to approving somebody in a closed category because they want to make sure that they have sales for one and for two, that they are going to be selling that particular product, you know, uh, over and over and over again. Um, if you are trying to get into a category to where you are um, only going to sell one or two or three items and not sell a whole lot, that makes a huge difference when it comes to creating your listing. If I was to create a listing and I wanted to go into a closed category, I would be putting down as far as my quantities, maybe 50 or 100 to start out with instead of 5 or 10 to start out with as far as quantities are concerned. Because then you, then you kind of let Amazon know how serious you are about getting into that. And then you're going to go ahead and have to send them uh, photos of your packaging itself. They're going to look at that. Um, also, they're going to look at UPC codes and they're going to want to look at uh, all that to make sure that that's on the packaging itself. And that's something that you could take a nice close up picture of and saying, here you go. This is this is my ASIN and this is the UPC code that's tied to my ASIN. And uh, they look at that and then uh, they kind of make that determination whether they're going to um, approve you or not approve you so but there are guys out there that are coming in and they're basically saying yes you know i can get you on gated for hundreds of hundreds of dollars and they may do it they may go out there and try to um uh get you on gated and all of a sudden yes they do get you on gated but then and, and i've heard this horror story many many times where a week later or two weeks later their account is suspended because they did something wrong. They didn't go through the prop, uh, proper procedure uh, or they didn't send in the proof that they were supposed to send in and somebody catches it. And then all of a sudden um, their account is, you know, banned or suspended and uh, they're pretty much screwed because 
they have to explain what they did and how they were able to get ungated and who ungated them and so forth. So it goes through a process on Amazon itself, you know, goes through one department, goes through another department, goes through another department. So these are all steps that have to be given in order to get your product approved. And so once it's approved, you're in, great. Then more power to you. You're able to sell. You're able to start, you know, posting your listings and what have you. Um, and, and how you would know if uh, you're ungated or you're not ungated is basically you're going to go into your back office. You're going to create a listing. And that listing is basically going to say you need approval to get into this category. And it's going to tell you the steps that you have to, to follow in order to get approved uh, to get into that particular category itself. And you can look into your back office and it's usually in your settings to where uh, it will tell you which categories you are approved on or, or if you're not approved on or you're able to see it that way. If you cannot find that, then simply call Amazon and you can ask them um, what categories am I approved for and you kind of know and you have an idea. But the quickest and easiest way is to um, go ahead and apply for that particular um, category and then uh, see if you get approved or if it's been approved or not been approved. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, for that. I mean, to, to get approved uh, for uh, a, a certain category, those are the steps that you kind of have to follow is you're going to have to basically create a listing, make sure that you have a great title, bullet points, beautiful pictures, and make sure that you take plenty, plenty of pictures of your UPC code and your packaging. It is very, very important as, as far as your packaging because they're going to want to see that. They're going to want to see your packaging. They're going to want to see your product and they want to make sure that this is your product, your packaging, this is you, it's kind of tied in. And, uh, and once that happens, you may get approved uh, for that particular category and able to sell in that particular category. And, you know, sometimes it's not all what it's all cracked out to be. You know, people think, oh, I'm going to get into, you know, beauty and I'm going to sell, you know, nail products or, or any other products out there and um, think they're going to make tons and tons of money. But what they don't realize is when you get into a closed category, there is a lot of competition and it is stiffer competition in closed categories than it is in open categories. So when you're in a closed category, remember this, you are competing against experienced sellers. They have the upper hand. Now you have to think, do I really, really want to get into a closed category and start selling products and being competitive with seasoned sellers? Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's your thing, if that's what you want to do. It's no different than me going into Amazon's number one category, which is food, and me selling food products, and my competition is Amazon. Well, who do you think Amazon is going to favor? Me or themselves? They're going to favor themselves. They're going to push their products way before I push mine, and then I'm going to have to work a little harder by doing pay-per-click ads, pushing my products, spending more money. And uh, when I'm doing that, then that's kind of like Amazon saying, well, you know, they're the, they're the big uh, giant on the block. They're the ones that, that pretty much have you right here. And they could say, you're going to pay more for pay-per-click. You're going to pay more for, you know, advertising. You're going to pay more for, you know, anything else. Um, so, you, you got to be really careful when you're competing against other seasoned sellers because they always have the upper hand and they know, you know, how to beat somebody out when it comes to 
uh, their competitor. So, and if you know how to do that, great. You will be uh, one step ahead of the game. But if you don't, then uh, expect some headaches. Expect uh, to have some great sales one day, and then the next day your sales are um, pretty much shot. And you're trying to figure out, well, why why are my sales uh, not happening today when they were two days ago? I was selling 50, 60 units a day, and today I'm only selling 10 to 20 units. Well, that's the way Amazon works. You know, they 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 look at your uh, your products, and if you have variations, they kind of will try to push a certain variation, maybe a a certain color, and maybe a blue or a red or a black one day and then the next could be a white or a green or a purple uh, the next day for you and all of a sudden you're selling more of this and less of this and you're trying to figure out why is this happening well Amazon has full control of their platform of their marketplace and they already know what they're pushing out there to their customers so alright guys well Welcome, uh, everybody. Uh, it is going on about 6.20 now. It is uh, darker now. The time uh, went ahead and moved back this week. And, um, uh, yeah, so it's uh, November. And guess what? This month, next month, and the year is all over. Now you're going to be starting fresh. You're going to be starting from scratch. And, um, you know, be prepared for that. Be prepared to sell products that, that you want to sell all year round. Don't try not to sell seasonal products because that's exactly what they are. It's seasonal and um, you're going to make some money, but you're not going to make as money, much money as you would like if you're just selling seasonal products as opposed to a product that can sell all year round. Now... You know, you kind of think of it this way. You think of it as as you want to sell products that people are in high demand for. You know, something something that people are going to buy. Whether whether it could be this, you know, um, this two piece, um, you know, paper printing paper, or or anything else. I mean. That people are going to use office supplies uh, those are usually pretty good industrial supplies are really really good you know um, there's just a lot of things that you kind of have to think about that people are going to use every single day and then there are some things out there that you know have um, there's some niches out there that people may you know concentrate on maybe something like camera equipment where you know they're selling you know the stands or or they're selling the microphones or whatever else um, for cameras and they kind of go and um, sell all, all this other stuff here so I think let's check this out um, we have ten dollars somebody just went ahead and sent ten dollars uh, Yes. Okay, let me find out. I think that is OLA. Thank you very much, OLA, for uh, donating $10 to this channel. Really appreciate that. For those of you that don't know, um, you, I have a cash app right here. A cash app is dollar sign Tech Daddy Videos. And if you want to donate to this channel, feel free. I'll put you on blast. OLA, thank you very much for... Um, donating the ten dollars uh to the channel this week and also he donated last week to uh the channel itself and i really appreciate that that helps out a lot uh, and i'm gonna go ahead and match that for christmas time and be giving out some great stuff to people who actually need it so uh thank you for that and it just kind of came up and uh you know we we want to go out there and 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 uh donate there you go. OLA says, I won the lotto. Well, awesome. Very much. I'm going to put you on blast here. Thank you very much, OLA, for uh, donating $10. 
to the cause and really appreciate that. Let's say hi to a few people here. Uh, what's up there, Maria? Hello, hello. How you doing? James, it takes a lot of work for sure, but it's worth it in the end. Absolutely so true there, James. Um, look, things don't come easy on Amazon, especially now in the year 2020. Definitely doesn't come easy uh, for a lot of sellers. That's why a lot of sellers kind of get they, they get depressed because they're they're um, not making the sales, you know. There's like, well, you know, I, but they don't know what they're doing. And uh, for those of you that are, you know, taking my courses at TechDaddyVideos.com, um, you know, this is where we kind of show you um, how to make money selling on Amazon, how to sell on Amazon, how to go out there and do this step by step by step. So if you haven't take a look at any of my courses, feel free to take a look at them at techdaddyvideos.com and uh, go under the product page and you will see the courses there and we'll help you out, do the best we can as far as helping you out there. So, but uh, with that being said, let's see here. Who else is in the building? Panarello Ryder, what's going on there? Panarello Ryder, what's happening? Uh, good evening, good evening, good evening. And let's see who else. Bidel La Rufus. Hello, all. And um, hello, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And let's see. Uh, my favorite up there, Christina. Hi, Christina. Uh, she is one of the members. And uh, welcome, uh, you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys coming on in and uh, so forth. All right, let's see. Oh, what's up there, Bob? Bob says, hi, Henry. You're the best teacher on private label. I wouldn't say I'm the best, but I'm pretty, uh, when it comes to private label products, um, it's something that there's a lot that goes into it. And, um, you know, a lot that really, really gets into it. And you really, really have to uh, pay attention to private label products, how you're going to sell your private label products, and so forth. And let's see who else is on. Uh, Denise. Hello, Denise. How are you? Uh, she says, hi, Henry. Hello, Denise. And, um, yeah, so, wow, there's quite a few people coming on today. Apprentice, what's going on there? Okay. Apprentice says, I'm also here, but I'm the silent lurker. Yes, you are. Well, we have a new um, member in the house, and I want to kind of introduce this gentleman. Um, he uh, basically, um, we, we were talking, I was selling a home, and... Um, he came in and, and we were talking uh, Tech Daddy and we were talking, you know, product sell on Amazon and so forth. And he decided to purchase uh, one of my courses. And uh, so I want to give him a prop. He just came in about two hours ago. Uh, his name is Kane. And let's see if we can get Kane on there. What's up there, Kane? Glad to be here learning. And uh, welcome aboard, Kane. I really appreciate that. And uh, he actually uh, was part of uh, the house that we were selling, and uh, he was helped us out with that. So um, I, I give him props for that. And now we're building another home, and uh, that's almost done, by the way. Twenty uh, fourth, I have twenty two more days. And I'm hoping that it closes on time where I can move into my brand new home on Thanksgiving weekend. That's what I'm hoping for. So everything looks on, it looks on schedule. Looks like it's, it's starting to happen. Things are starting to really move. Next week I have an inspection. And then the following week, I have another final inspection before we can say 
it's ours and uh, we'll be showing you the brand new house uh, that we were able to purchase now keep this in mind guys um, I've been selling on Amazon for over 13 years now and um, so with Amazon itself and I started out with uh, eBay and I started selling products on eBay when they first started and then Amazon came in and then I jumped over to Amazon and, and everybody knows my story. I've been selling on Amazon and uh, been been selling for, for a long time. And without this, um, my dreams um, would not have came true. I mean, it takes time, believe me. But every single year, it gets better and better and better. And if it gets better and better and better, you know that you are doing something right. You know that you are selling the right products and and believe me even to this day i think a product is going to sell extremely well and it doesn't but then there's products that maybe may not move and i think they're not going to move but they but but all the numbers kind of show and they um they are everything's there and then all of a sudden that could be the best seller so there are products that I had purchased and I purchased a lot of products and I ended up uh, not selling it. And so it just happens. It just, it, that's the way it goes. But um, there are some products out there that, like I said, you don't think is going to move. And all of a sudden they take off and all of a sudden they are, uh, you know, just moving uh, extremely fast so uh, let's see here James says welcome so we uh, welcome Kane and um, simply films what's up there simply films welcome aboard this is the first time I'm actually seeing you on here so welcome yourself there uh, simply films uh, and he also says welcome Kane and apprentice says welcome Maria says welcome. Well, you got a lot of fans out there, Kane. All right. Love it. Got to love it. Well, you know, th these are the new members that are coming in. And, you know, so we want to welcome them and give them, a, a, you know, a lot of props for, for taking that step. Because um, there's a lot of guys out there that sell, that, that sell their courses. And there's a lot of guys out there that sell, you know, dead dreams. And for me, I try to back everything up the, the best I possibly can. I give a product of the month out. And um, I always try to give a product of the month out. This week has been really, really crazy. So I'm running a little behind on my product of the month. But I would try to get that out for you guys. Speaking of that, to you members out there. Uh, I know you guys know that I'm really, really busy. And, my, and I'm focusing on a lot of stuff going on right now in my life. Um, but it's all for the better. And so this is where we need you guys to be anyway. We need you guys to be exactly where, where I'm at. Um, and, you know, I, I, I did this today and I don't know why I did it, but I just kind of like, I took all my money from my stock market and I put it into cash and basically sold all my stock because I don't know what's going to happen in the next few days with this election, whether the stock is going to go way down or the stock is going to go way up. So, you know, instead of me trying to lose a lot of money because I'm thinking that the stock market is basically going to crash, um, I want to be conservative and kind of just have it in cash to where it just sits there. Uh, but... Uh, those are just some of the little strategies that I like to do, um, and other people will say different, but um, I, I really like to watch my hard-earned money, you know, and it, it, you guys are no different, you know, you, you go out there and you buy products, and it's a lot of money for some of you out there, that and, and you're scared because you are, you know, spending $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 on an economy now that is crap and you just don't know you know where you're going to be and um, so 
there's a lot of people out there that are just, you know, they had great jobs and, and, and um, you know, just things that were working well for them. And then all of a sudden, you know, we get this virus going on and nobody really knows how to control this and how to do that. And the Democrats are, you know, blaming the Republicans. The Republicans are, you know, blaming the Democrats. I don't want to get into politics, but... Um, you know, it's just, it's an unsettled uh, feeling. And I, I'm at that point where I'm buying homes and I'm comfortable and I'm, you know, um, at that point where I, I am not worried because I, I feel like I do make the right decisions, a lot of right decisions. And, and I, I always look at my members and what I can do better for them. And so, um, with that, I, I feel comfortable, you know, giving out the products and giving out the services and um, some of these other guys out there that are kind of doing things for a fast buck. And I've been here long enough to where I don't really need the fast buck anymore. You know, I just basically, it, it is what it is. I make money here, I make money there. And um, there's a lot of things that, that, you guys should really pay attention to and it i have been into a lot of businesses and i'm, I'm going to tell you right now amazon has been a great business for me to get into and it's funny because um i've looked at a lot of businesses that i've gotten into and they failed and then I learned from that, but I also, in, I, I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I mean, if I can find something that is going to make me money, I'm going to do it. That's just me. I'm just, I'm just that, you know, driven to where um, I have one source of income, two sources of income. Actually, right now, I have six sources of income right now that are coming in. And they're coming in very, very strong. And I don't mean to sit there and, and, and you know, throw it out there. But these are some of the decisions that I kind of, um, I've watched other people make huge mistakes. And I've learned from that. And I've, I've seen marketers bounce from one product to another product and then to another product, hoping that it's going to work whether they're, you know, doing this or doing that. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't do that. You know, I, I go out there and I work Amazon and, um, and, and that's my retirement. And, and that's what I always tell people. Amazon is my retirement, you know, cause I can always depend every two weeks, a paycheck coming from Amazon, whether I work hard or not. I, I hardly even work Amazon. Um, I send my products in, they do all the business for me, Amazon's FBA program. Sometimes I do Merchant Fulfilled. If an order comes in, it comes in. I go out here, I print it out, and I get them sent off. And as soon as they, they come in, and, you know, um, I'm at that point now where it's, uh, you know, things are just taking off, and uh, I'm loving life. And that's where you guys need to be. All right. Enough rant. Uh, Apprentice says, Thanksgiving dinner here in your house. Let's go. Absolutely, man. I mean, you know, I'm so excited. I'm waiting for my housewarming party. I don't know how many people I'm going to be inviting, but it's going to be a party. And so, uh, definitely. Uh, let's see. Uh, James says, what are the rules about reselling items that are bought from Amazon? I would like to be able to post them and resell them. Uh, James, yeah, I mean, look, you can buy you can buy products from Amazon and turn around and resell it, but you're not going to make profit off of it. Um, if you find something that is like so low to where you can go out there and jack it up another $15, uh, and, and sell it and make money that way, sure, no problem. You have to remember, when you're creating a listing, 
Amazon is charging you for the listing. If you uh, have a product that sells, Amazon is charging you for the sale. If you have a product that's in Amazon's FBA program, Amazon is charging you to store it. Amazon is charging you to get it sent out to your customer. Amazon is charging you for customer service, answering the phone calls, following you know, all the complaints and all that. So if you are you know, going out there and, and purchasing it from Amazon, it just doesn't make sense to go out there and resell it um, unless you're going to really, really increase the price and try to be higher than anybody else on it. But again, that's a, a disaster and that's just a, something that's just set up to fail. Um, you know, start looking at uh, these wholesale places. And, and that's the thing is if you can get the product really, really cheap um, and you can get it at a wholesale price, why not? You know, get it at a wholesale price, turn around, sell it on Amazon, find out what it's going for and go that route. Um, there are guys out there, you know, there's there's drop shippers out there. There's uh, retail arbitrage guys out there that they'll go and they'll buy products from, for example, Walmart and they'll sell it on eBay or they'll sell it on Amazon or they'll get the product from eBay and turn around, post it on Amazon and, and go that route. A, a lot of times too, what a lot of guys will do, will go out there and they will compare the price from eBay to Amazon or Shopify to Amazon or uh, Walmart to Amazon. And they'll kind of, you know, do some price comparisons there. Well, that's no different than drop shipping itself. You know, that's exactly what they're looking at. And you know how that model goes. It's not great, but, you know, it is what it is. And, and hopefully, James, I can enlighten you on that, you know, but yeah, just be really, really careful as far as uh, you buying the product and then reposting it all over again. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Let's go to Christine. If I can get her on, let's see. Christine says, Christina says, welcome to the best Amazon team. Henry is the most trustful person and he will guide us all to be successful. Man, thank you very much, Christina. You know, that, that, that hits me right here. Hits me right here. Dream or dreamer? Which one are you? You know, and that's why I... You know, I, I try to be as truthful as I can with you guys. You know, when I come on on, on on Monday nights, you know, I'm only on for an hour. But you guys can ask me any questions you guys want, con, you know, concerning Amazon. And I will answer it for you. This is what I'm here for. And I do this for absolutely free. It doesn't cost anybody anything uh, to do that. But um, thank you very much, Christina. Really appreciate kind words uh and kane says thanks everyone and let's see simply film says i'm a newbie i'm michael jones just got on board last week well hello there michael and uh glad that you're here glad that you're on and glad that you were able to join our team and when i say our team it's me myself and i i am the teacher I am the person that you go to, but we also have our members. That's the team is our members itself. So, you know, we, we try to help each other out, whether it's on Facebook or even uh, here on YouTube on Monday nights. A lot of you guys are members that are coming in and we, we get a few people that come in and want to join, want to come on in and want to be successful. So they, they get on, uh, YouTube and try to get as much information as they possibly can. But if you want to get on that fast track, then sign up for a package. I'm telling you that right now. And that will um, that will really, really help you out. B. Dell says, have you always been a hustler? Yeah, I mean, since I was 
in my teens, I've always tried to figure out a business model or I always tried to figure out um, something where um, I was going to be successful at. I mean, I was in the 70s in Amway. If you guys could remember, that tells you how old I am. Um, and, and that play, and that's still around, by the way. I mean, and but uh, I was there back then, and uh, there's a lot of other companies, telephone companies that I got into, all these multi-level marketing companies that I got into, and none of them really never even worked for me. But you know, um, I'm not gonna knock them. And but I will tell you, when I did, you know, uh, start selling on eBay. I started doing really well, and then when I uh, went over to Amazon, uh, it was crazy. And I was like, wow, this is selling 10 times faster uh, than, than eBay was. And I kind of found my niche and kind of found what I was doing and hired employees and had a lot of sales uh, when it came to that. Um, see here, I second, Maria says, I second that Christina Henry helped and caring is undeniable. I appreciate that, Maria. Appreciate that, guys. Uh, appreciate that a lot. Welcome, Michael, to the team. Uh, Simply Film says, uh, I got the full package. I've uh, been going through the course. Uh, <laughs> OLA says, don't forget about Mary Kay, too. As a matter of fact, I did sign up for Mary Kay, and I was a representative for Mary Kay as a male selling lipsticks and all that other girly stuff until I figured out I can only sell this to half the market, which was women. And I mean, there's a few men buying it, but not, not, uh, not as much as I wanted. So yes, I did. I did venture to that too, OLA, um, and I'm not afraid to admit it. You know, I, I didn't get the pink car, but I did real well. Um, Apprentice says I've never made money on multi-level marketing. I hated selling to all my friends. Right? Yeah, I mean it's. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, and, and that's just it. You know, it's it's whether it's a health product or what have you you're going out there and you're selling um, to your friends, to your family, and with Amazon, you don't have to do that. That's the beauty about Amazon. You don't have to go uh, and sell to your family, sell to your friends. You, you can you know, push the products that are out there on Amazon or, or sell, uh, sell products uh, that people are looking for on Amazon and that is the number one marketplace in the world right now. Maria says I did Amway in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Amway is still here. <laughs> but if you ask me if I was to ever get into it again, probably not. Uh, OLA says I bought too much from you. Yeah, you probably did. <laughs> you probably did. So with that being said, guys, I really appreciate that. I mean, um, getting back on, on the subject, you definitely um, be really careful when it comes to uh, you going out there and trying to get yourself ungated. Do it the right way. Make sure that you go out there and do all the steps. And uh, um, it's, it's, it's just something that that you know you want to get into a category and i think uh simply films just asked that question what category should i start in um uh, start in a category that's open to you and how you can go about doing that is you can go into your settings in your back office and your selling seller's account and um i believe there's a, a setting somewhere tells you which categories that are opened up to you. A lot of them could be like home, uh, I think it's a home and garden or home and uh, home improvement. I can't remember even what the categories are nowadays, but um, 
especially for new sellers. Um, but yeah, just go into those categories. Try to create a listing or, or, or test it with the listing. And if you're, you're able to get in, that means that it's open to you. If you uh, go and try to get into a listing that's in a closed category, it's going to say that you need approval. And whether you need approval but from somebody else because you're selling their product or approval to get into that category is closed. The easiest and the best way to do it is to call Amazon and ask them what category is open to you. They'll send you the list. Uh, they should be able to send you a list of what category you're open to and then um, start selling from there. Uh, I like to get into, uh, you know, Simply Films, what category what I would start in. Uh, I would probably start in something like appliances, which is really easy to get uh, into and really easy to rank uh, and get up in the ranks faster. When, when I say appliances, maybe parts uh, for like a washer, parts for a dryer, parts for a refrigerator, you know, something like a filter or uh, a screw or something that people are kind of looking for. Um, get into appliances. That That is an awesome category to get into. Also get into industrial and scientific. Um, industrial, you can turn around and sell hard hats. You can sell goggles, uh, safety glasses, uh, all that stuff. Um, and those are really good because people always need them. Uh, when I went to Australia, uh, one of the things that I did see that Australia was one of the safest countries and they pride themselves on being a safe country uh, in the world. Uh, so they uh, were really high on selling safety vests. And I noticed everybody who had to work outside had to wear a safety vest. And so um, that was something that kind of triggered, you know, when I was there or I was at the mechanic, you know, taking the car in for some tires or something when I was in Australia. And I noticed that the guys would be wearing the gloves and these gloves were uh, selling on, in, in, on the Australian market for 30 to $40. And I asked them, I said, where did you get these? And, oh, I got these uh, at this store over here and it cost me, I don't know, 50, 50 bucks or what have you. And I, I, I did see an opportunity to turn around and go for it and say, I'm gonna go ahead and start selling this on Amazon. And I made quite a bit of money just on safety equipment because I knew they pride themselves in that category. And I also uh, was there to, and walked into a uh, safety occupational store where they were selling safety vests for 50 to $60 and I was turning around and getting them from overseas for four to six dollars a piece for good safety vests and selling them in the Australian market. Um, so, you know, with that, you know, I, I made quite a bit of money there just doing that. So you just have to look at these little niches and kind of go and say, but yeah, those categories definitely. Um, are a lot easier to get into uh, say for example arts art supplies um, I mean we, we've had a few uh, categories for the product of the month for the arts um, but it's not really really popular but it it can move you up extremely fast by going out there and selling in those categories great questions guys great questions um, Christina says, I notice on Amazon News that clients can return the products they buy until January, even if the sales occur in October. Is this always happening? This is this always happening this season? I think you meant to say, is this only happening this season? It's something new. That's something new that that um, Amazon is doing. Um, 
they never used to do that. But with everything going on right now, I think uh, that has a lot to do with it. The returns, uh, people you know can't get out as much, and so I think they kind of extended that. I, I may be wrong, but from what I read, uh, a lot of it has to do with the COVID-19 going on and so forth. And so I think uh, that's why they did it. So they're, they're being lenient on a lot of stuff uh, at the end of the year. Um, but all that's going to end, you know. So great question. Let's see what else here. Oh, here we go. Uh it's three months for returns now with, oh, with the COVID. A lot of people return items for no reason. You know, and, and here's the thing. Uh, I, I, and I want to get into this subject because there's a lot of people doing this. I think it's unethical. I think it's something that should not be done. But, and it's, this is... As a seller, you have to really pay attention. Um, when I sell products, uh, I turn around and I sell these products not five at a time, ten products at a time, what have you. I always put my max quantity ordered. So if somebody wants to order a product from me, I put my max quantity ordered at two. That means they can only order two of that particular product from me. That's it. They can't order five. They can't order ten. They have to constantly order. If they want four, they're going to have to place two orders in order to get four. Now, Christina, now that you mention about returns, and this is where it's happened to me, where... I would send them the product, they would put in for a return, and then they would return the box. I would open it up and it would be something else. Maybe it was instead of two of those items, it was one of something totally different. It could have been a foam plate or something, a foam or something that they put in there that wasn't even mine. See, in Amazon, they would go to Amazon and say, oh no, the tracking numbers show that it was delivered. And Amazon would give them the credit. It's no different than people returning stuff. They say they're going to buy a, uh, I don't know, a camera. And then, you know, it's a $400 camera. And they go and they put something else in the return. They keep the camera, but they put something else in the return. And all this goes to a central warehouse. So what Amazon does is basically tracks the tracking number. I shouldn't even be telling you guys this. But this is what people are doing. And so the returns, Amazon sells pellets and pellets of, of returns. This is why I do not touch Amazon returns. There are guys out here on YouTube promoting Amazon returns. But what they don't tell you is, and half of these boxes aren't exactly what it says it is. So, you know, if there's a return and it returns for, for example, a, a very expensive camera, then they open it up and it's a brick. You know, they <laughs> fills in. The weight and everything feels the same. Um, and all of a sudden, they got themselves nothing but a piece of concrete. And Amazon doesn't inspect it. They don't go out there and check it out. And that's something I feel like they should do. You take it to Kohl's and, and you um, seal it up. And then you get the tracking number. Take it to the UPS store get the tracking number and they scan it and they, they send it off. And as long as it gets from point A to point B, you get your money back. Well, it's no different than you being a seller and somebody returning product to you that's, that's meaningless. You lose out, uh, especially if you have, if you're selling, say, they say somebody buys 10 of those pr 10 products 
from you, what's going to prevent them from turning around and saying, uh, I only receive one. You know darn well you sent them um, 10, but Amazon's going to take the customer's side every single time. So to avoid this, to, you know, avoid all the headaches is put in your listings, put the max quantity ordered either one or two. If you put it at one and it gets, and this gets from, from point A, which is you, to point B, the customer, then it shows that tracking, it's been delivered, boom, your stuff is there. They can't say, I didn't get it. Because if you turn around and you sent that product and it went from point A to point B and there's 10, 10 items or 10 things and there are 10 orders in there and it's a big order and it costs, you two, it costs them $200, they can literally get that, say, yeah, I only received one um, and I didn't receive 10. Where's the rest of my order? It happens all the time. Um, to prevent that, do your max quantity of either one or two and that way you know your losses are minimum and uh you know that's just a little tip hopefully that 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 helps but uh let me see here simply film says uh thank you uh thank you that helps a lot good info no problem um Maria says, sold a Halloween costume on October 6th. Customer asked to return it because it didn't fit. They conveniently did not return it prior to Halloween. Now we have to have a used item sent back to us. When it comes to holiday products, that is not something that is not uncommon. It happens all the time. Maria, you just experienced it by selling a, a product that was for the holidays. And this is exactly what, what you're going to get. People who sell Halloween items, Amazon gives a 30-day money-back guarantee. If somebody doesn't like the product because they don't like the color, they can return it. That's the only negative thing that I can honestly say about Amazon itself is as a seller, you have to gamble when it comes to that. As a buyer, it's great. As a buyer, you know you can buy a product and return it and Amazon's going to give you your money back. You know, I bought three Segways, scooters, and, and they were $900 a piece. And um, as soon as I bought those Segways, uh, a week later, they went on sale for like $75 less than what I paid for them, each scooter. And I wanted to return it. And they said, yeah, you can return it. I had to return it. I had to get the shipping, had to get, to get that all taken care of. And for what? For $75? And they would not credit me the difference. They said, nope, you have to return it and then buy it again. I'm like, why? That's so stupid. But it's just, that's just some of the things that are flaws with Amazon itself. And, you know, I even go through that. So this is why I don't turn around and sell holiday products. I don't just because of that particular reason, Maria, is people can return it even after they have worn it. And I'm sure you're not the only one that are getting Hollywood, uh, Halloween costumes back today, tomorrow, and the next day because Halloween's over. They wore it, didn't fit. Now they're going to return it. So, yes. 
All right. Well, it is going on 704. I've kind of been, I uh, went on a little too uh, long over here, but I want to say thank you to everybody uh, for, for coming in. Thank you, everybody, for the thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Thumbs up. And uh, thank you guys for that. And uh, thank you, OLA, for that generous um, cash app uh, donation uh, of $10. Appreciate that. I'm going to match that. And uh, we're going to give it to somebody who needs it. Uh, Maria says, If I ship larger quantities, I photograph everything that goes in a box and the weight. No, doesn't work. I, I've done that. Um, do yourself a favor. Just put the max quantity as low as you can possibly put it. And if they really, really want it, they're going to order one or two or three orders. I get repeat orders all the time. Um, when I sold my toothbrush heads, uh, I basically would get repeat orders from dentists that would order them for their patients you know, basically give them out. Uh, so they would order those from me and um, I get them and it would be the same person ordering it. And I'd see it and go, oh, okay, this guy ordered, you know, um, three here, four here, two here, and they would order every week. So um, yeah, it, if, you, if you put larger quantities in, you're still gonna run into the same situation, whether you take a picture of it or not, you know, it's, um, it's their word against yours. And honestly, if you were to take a picture and send it in to Amazon, you got to create a case. It's going to go to one customer service rep. Then it's going to go to a different department. And then it's going to get lost. Or it's going to take a while. So uh, save yourself the trouble. And, um, you know, I wouldn't mess around with it. Uh, Maxim, Maxim, what's up there, Maxim? Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, welcome to our channel. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, OLA says thank you also. Uh, with that being said, guys, I am going to get out of here today. Uh, and I appreciate everybody coming on. Appreciate all the thumbs up. Appreciate you guys watching. And um, with that being said, we're going to be on next week. We're we'll talking another subject. And um, if you guys want to come in to Tech Daddy videos, uh, take a look at Tech Daddy videos. I'll give you guys the website here. It is techdaddyvideos.com. And you can go under the product page and purchase a, uh, a course if you like. Totally up to you. Uh, get started selling on Amazon. And we will try to help you out there and what have you. If you are new to the channel, uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell, let you know when I do come on, when I do come on live. And uh, yeah, join in. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a good week. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. And thank you for all the great questions, the donations, and everything else. All right, guys. Appreciate that. See you guys on the next one. See ya. Peace.